Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look and a listen to President Biden. He's going to be talking about U.S. citizens in Ukraine and basically telling them, look, you need to leave. You, you can't stay there. So let's go ahead and take a look and a listen. Here we go. Plans toward American citizens who are in Ukraine and might be there during an invasion. Uh, what scenarios would you put American troops to rescue and get Americans out? They're not. That's a world war when Americans and Russians start shooting at one another. We're in a very different world than we've ever been in. Not even on behalf of simply evacuating Americans. No. How, how, how do you do that? How do you even find them? This is not like I'm hoping that if, in fact, he's foolish enough to go in, he's smart enough not to, in fact, do anything that would negatively impact on American citizens. Have you, have you told him that? Yes. You, you've, you've told him to, that, that you know, Americans would be a line that they can't cross? Well, I, I didn't have to tell him that. He, I've, I've spoken about that. He knows that. And, uh, you know, it's a little bit... Uh, look, that's why what I've asked is American citizens should leave, should leave now. We're dealing with one of the largest armies in the world. This is a very different situation and things could go crazy quickly. On the okay, so that was President Biden telling people that are in Ukraine, U.S. citizens that are in Ukraine, you need to leave, you need to leave now. And so this leads me to believe, and I mean, if you, if you just look at, just read the writing on the wall, there, there's going to be some type of a conflict, and, and that, that's, that's going to happen. Now, the danger here, and we saw a little bit of this in Afghanistan, the danger is if U.S. citizens don't leave, if they stay there, if they get stuck there, and Russia invades Ukraine, well, now we're in a whole different situation because we have U.S. citizens in Ukraine. There's a potential for Americans to die in Ukraine, and that brings us in. That brings us into this war. And so that's what President Biden is trying to, to avoid here by saying, look, if you're there now, you, you need to leave. Uh, as well as they, if you have U.S. citizens that are still there in Ukraine and there is an invasion by Russia, well, now we have to send troops into Ukraine in order to try to rescue those U.S. citizens. Uh, so this is, I mean, the, the, the writing's on the wall here. The, there, there's, going, there's going to be some type of a conflict and President Biden is just trying to avoid having U.S. citizens there when it when it goes down. And then you saw there the president got a little stumped when he was asked about, did you tell uh, President Putin about this? And, and he said yes first, and then he kind of, you know, played it back. But when you look at it, you don't need to say any. I mean, that, that's one of those things that uh, it, you, you don't have to say anything. I mean, just like President Putin would be the same way if we did something to um, to Russian citizens. It's a, it's the same situation here. If if you have U.S. citizens and they're in Ukraine and there's a casualty and it's due to this war, then obviously this is this this brings us into this war. And so this is a really serious situation. Now, how it's going to be handled? I mean, we're we're still kind of waiting waiting to see what Russia does. But um, I, I I don't know what to say when it comes down to it. But all I can say is I wanted to pass this message along to you. If you are a U.S. citizen and you're in Ukraine, you need to leave. You need to leave. Intelligence right now, the president, as well as 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 the military, U.S. military, saying, "Look, you guys need to leave." That's a sign. That's that's enough there to say, "Hey, there's going to be something going on in the very near future, and we don't want." U.S. citizens there when it goes down. Okay, so now let's talk about, and I, I don't like using this word, but I, I can't think of another word to use. You guys let me know if it's appropriate, but the dumbest politician out there, um, he has to take the cake. And we're going to take a look at his tweet. We're also going to take a look at an article by uh, from Huffington Post because he was being made fun of, and uh, I, I thought it was pretty comical uh, some of the responses. Uh, so let, let's go ahead and take a look at the tweet and then, then we'll go from there. So here we go. Okay, Thomas Massey. Over 70% of Americans who died with COVID died on Medicare. And some people want Medicare for all. So that is the ridiculous tweet that he posted yesterday. Not even thinking about this whole situation of how most people who passed away from COVID were older people. And if you're 65 or older, most of those people are on Medicare. 
And so he's saying this 70%. So let's do away with, with, with Medicare. And so he, he got trolled. He, he, there are a lot of people that um, found issues with what he was saying, just like I do, but they, they let him know in, in, a, in, in the best way that we can right on Twitter. So let, let's, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the, the responses because I just thought, <laughs> I thought they were hilarious. Uh, just, just because it this is just so ridiculous. It's, it's so dumb, uh, such a dumb thing to say, but, uh, some people really, <laughs> really got on them about it. Uh, so here's a tweet here by Jesse. He says over 90% of Americans who died with COVID drink a glass of tap water and some people still want clean drinking water. <laughs> and then here's another one here. Over 70% of Americans who died with COVID died in hospitals and some people want more hospitals. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ian here says over 70% of Americans who died of heart attacks own a washing machine. We must ban washing machines. Uh, let's see. Dumb tweet of the day is like saying 100% of Americans who breathe air eventually die and some people actually want air. <laughs> Probably 95% of Americans who died of COVID were pensioners and some people want social security. Do you know how many people die while in bed in a bed? Ban beds. <laughs> I mean, this is, and they just kept on going and going and going. You know how tw Twitter is. I mean, it's just it's never ending. Uh, death death rate at hospices is also horrifying. Abolish hospices. <laughs> Nearly a hundred percent of Americans who die over age sixty five die on Medicare. And so you know, this is you know he, he's trying to explain this to this. This MIT grad, okay, we, we can go to his, let's go, I actually had it pulled up here. So here's his website. Uh, go to his website. Now, he is uh, representing Kentucky, uh, him and, and Mitch McConnell. But um, yeah, he's an MIT grad. He's, he's an intelligent individual, but for whatever reason, he put out this really, really dumb tweet and uh, here's all of his contact information here. So uh, you guys can blow up his phone and let him know how you feel about this. And so basically he wants to do away with Medicare. He wants to do away with, with medical care for, for anyone. So, I mean, it, it, it's, it's just crazy. I mean, obviously he's, he's wants to privatize it. He doesn't want to have any type of uh, government involved when it comes to uh, medical or healthcare. Uh, but the, the the reality is that would mean that people who are receiving Medicare now would have to get on a private plan. And guess what? You get on a private plan, you're going to be paying at least a thousand dollars per month, and that 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 would be ridiculous. That's 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 why Medicare is in place. But nonetheless, I mean, you you, you have dumb people, right? You just have dumb people, and he's actually representing a district, and he probably has. I'm, of course, he has people who are 65 years old or older and receiving Medicare. And he's talking like this, like, let's do away with Medicare. So I don't know. I, I want, I want you guys to sound off on this because this was amazing to me. I, I could not believe when I saw this tweet, I'm like, this guy is so out of touch. It's ridiculous. And so these are the politicians that need to not be there. They don't need to be there representing people because if you're saying things like this and you have some of your constituents on Medicare, what are you going to do about those people that are on Medicare right now when you're talking like this? It's just, I mean, I, I don't know what to say. I, I, like I said, when I saw it, I was shocked. Um, this, this person needs to go. They will be running for reelection this year. He's a representative, so he's going to be running every two years they run. Uh, so I'm going to follow this race to see what happens and I'm hoping whoever's challenging him, they bring this up because this is really, really a, a, a serious thing. We can't have politicians running around thinking that it's okay to uh, to use Medicare as a, as a way to say, look, we need to do away with it. Look at all the people uh, who had COVID that died of Medicare. So Medicare is not working. Uh, so anyway, let me know what you guys think. Sound off down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.